Hi there everybody. It's been quite a while since we've got together and we're back in the kitchen. So uh, I got a few little things. I would just wanted to do a little catch up with you. And uh, we're expecting over a hundred again today. So the last two months we've had two short days where we had a smidgen of rain and we are still hot. We have forest fires in Kelowna below us and up Prince George above us and uh, we're surviving so uh, I just want to show you what we've been doing through the heat. So I've uh, seen you here. I just made a bunch of leaves that uh, I've put vines. Uh, Jack wove some wire. He did some heavier wire for the stems. And he wove this down in his shop. So he wove it so that it was thicker. And this is the stems for, there's a vine growing up. Our light stem, which is almost ready to go outside, so I thought I'd better do a quick catch up. <laughs> and then we, we have these other smaller stems. And these are the side shoots off the main stem for the leaf to be on. And I've done all the top ones. Jack's got it all wired so that it'll come on at dark, dusk, and it'll stay on for so long. And it'll be right out in the front by the bike, so I'll get some pictures when it's up. I think it'll be very beautiful in the night time. So the vines are going up. I've done the top leaves. I'm working on the bottom leaves. We're going to put Everything below the bucket, which is down here, this is the base, and this will be below ground. Now, we're in the dining room because this is the only room with a high ceiling that this will fit. Uh, it's going to be about eight feet above ground. So, <laughs> and that's what we're doing. And then I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for an orchid to... Uh, put in those uh, antique vintage lamp shades we had where we took all the electrical wiring on them and we thought wow you know this will this will make a great orchid pot so I've been watching and watching and in Salmon Arm it is so hard to find orchids because there's not many places that have them and then when they get six they got six in I just about I was so happy because I have one outside. Uh, this is the only orchid that's inside because I just got it. The rest are on holiday. And uh, I liked this one. Why did I pick this one from the other five? Because it had lots of leaves. I like that it's got lots of leaves. I learned my lesson. I do not buy a plant with a yellow leaf because it may look like it was one thing that caused it, but it could be something like a fungus, and I just don't do that anymore. And the first thing I did, this is not potted. It is drop potted. So, see if I can get this in here. It's all right. Yeah, it's drop potted, so I just took it out the pot right away as soon as I got it home and I stuck it in this pot with no pot. I took all of the moss and I just, you know, used my fingers and raked it aside and uh, let some air in there. It did smell, but the roots are good and I don't want them to get any worse. So for now, until I get around to potting it, I've just left it like this. It's getting air now and that's the main thing. And it's, I'm not going to overwater it. I know how wet it is. I can stick my finger in there and feel it. So, anyway, the other reason I picked this, the leaves are a beautiful green. They're not, they're not too dark. Too dark means they weren't getting enough light. And uh, so that was one reason. And the other reason was there was three stems. It's a little older plant. It has one, two, three, four six leaves and lots of aerial roots. So um, I guess when you pick it you have to decide where you know what you want it for and I was looking for a kind of medium sized one for this pot. The one that I planted in the other one, the twin of this, is outside and it is happy. 
like I can tell when I look at them, oh, that one's happy, so something's right. So anyway, this will go and bark soon, but for now I just, uh, I've been very busy, so we'll put that back. And a quick catch up. Now, I wanted to show you the bark mulch. Um, now, let's see if we can get it. This, this one here was in a real crisp um, thing that it came from the nursery in the spring this year. It was hard and it looked like a Brillo pad. And Jack said when I got it, why don't you take it out of that? And I says, well, no, they sent it in that. But uh, you know what? I wish I would listened to him because in the end, I've uh, slowly, and these are all the roots that were mushy inside that stuff. And they, they weren't good, so I just stripped them and left the little dry hairs, little dry hairs there. And uh, now it is getting some nice green roots. So uh, I think it'll be fine. And uh, this Herellus, I don't ask me. I sh I'll have the names next time I talk to you, but I kind of did this on a whim. So there's two more flowers coming. We had one. I showed you a quick clip at the end of uh, the last video, I believe. So there's two more stems with flowers coming. This one's doing really well. And uh, so the bark mul mulch is doing very good. And I take it to the sink every morning because it's right in the kitchen and I give it a rinse. And if I'm walking by, here's another good idea. Okay, let me just hang that up. I gotta show you something. I'll just be a sec. Now, if you have trouble getting spray bottles or misting bottles that you really like, well, I did this, I use this, I love it. So I don't use it a lot, but I walk around, I miss them every once in a while. It's a miracle Grow 222, it's not strong, it's weak, but I love it. But what else I love about it is I took the, paper, the plastic wrapper off and put, filled it with water. And uh, when I'm real hot and I'm working here, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I keep one by my orchid in here, and I missed it. And the same with this one, miss the aerial roots. Um, I have my calendar. Here's the other thing. Now, uh, because our weather is so unusual, here's my calendar, as you can see. And all these little black things are my, when I've watered. So, okay, uh, because I'm kind of doing it sporadically because the heat is just crazy so as you can see like here this week I watered Monday and Thursday and this week I watered Tuesday and Saturday and then I went away so we had company and I watered on Thursday so I'm back to pretty well two days a week and uh, I, I've been taking them outside to the holes because I'm on the patio and just letting it run through and uh, no, I'm not wasting water. Um, we all our water here goes into the lake. It's a huge lake that runs way down. And yes, I know it's it is getting low. But we have sprinkling restrictions that run all the time, and it's two days a week. And we don't even use them because if you've seen a video of my yard, most of it is rock, and it's set up for summers and not needing a lot of water. But because I can a lot of vegetables and do uh, a lot of uh, gardening. I water my garden my two days a week. And yes, I take my orchids out and I give them a good bath because they need it. And uh, they're two days a week. That's all I've been doing. And you'll be surprised. I'll be doing a video when I bring them in. And you'll be surprised how well they've stood up to this. I mean, the glassed-in patio, even though it has screens all the way around, it is hot out there. And I have a fan, and I miss them maybe once, twice a day at the most. And they have their, their uh, Mr. Bulls, and I really like the Mr. Bulls because it's a bigger surface of water rather than a, 
a small mister. So it not only has all this mist coming up from the bigger surface, it, um, it also has the humidity. And all my pots sit on little stands. One thing I like about this one is it has its own stand. It sits high enough so if I water it it's in a bowl, the water will run off. I don't have to put a stand like I usually do, but the reason I do that is because I keep all my orchids on a little glass square or an upside down bowl over a big bowl that I can have water in. It's not the pebble thing, it's what I do. There's more water and the humidity has been excellent. I've been doing really well. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to get back to this project and I'll get back to when it goes outside. And uh, I guess that's it for now. I'll, do a, I'll just show you from top to bottom before I close off this video. And really nice to see you all again.